Hi everyone, this is Rafa from the Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll talk about attributes in XST file. Now, why to use uh, attributes in XST? How to define attributes in XST? Points to remember while defining attributes followed by a quick demo. Why to use attributes in XST? So, attribute provides additional information for an element in XST file. So, that means whatever like the elements. So, as we already saw, like element is used to store a data. So attribute also helps to store the data, but if the data to be stored in an element is less, then use attribute. Otherwise, instead of use, instead of using an element, use attribute. That means, for example, you want to store one word or two words or three words of data, then you can use an attribute. Otherwise, if the, if the data is very lengthy, then don't use attribute, use element only. Okay, because if you use an attribute to store large amount of data, then the readability of an XML file decreases. How to define an attribute? Now, this is the basic syntax. So, XS colon attribute name is equal to attribute name here and the data type. So, a data type as we saw already, it can be an integer or it can be a string or it can be a date type. Next, use equal to required optional prohibited. That means you want this attribute or you can make this attribute as optional or you can restrict this attribute without having. Next, default is equal to default value. So, if you want, if the end user from the XML is not providing any value, then if you want some value to be a, get into the XML file as a default value, then you can use that fixed value. That means if you need some fixed value for this attribute at, a, at any point of time, then you can use this. For example, you can see, so for the product, which we already saw, like car product, car order. So for that product UPI, we wanted to add it for product complex element. So you can add like this product UPI, excess column string and use equal to optional. That means even if you don't provide this value, there won't be any issues and default value. By default, it will take this R at the red YBL. Next, points to remember while defining attributes. So these are the most important things that we need to see. Attribute can appear only once in an element. That means there are no multiple occurrences of an attribute. And the second thing is, cannot restrict the order of attributes if an element has multiple attributes defined. That means if you have uh, type access colon attribute product UPI and if you have one more thing like product uh, uh, code like product QR code so you cannot define the sequence of attributes so that is a disadvantage next is like uh, simple type element cannot have attributes only complex element has attributes that means in our previous example car order so only the products or product type so that will have a complex element that I will show you next use so use is a one like one constraint that you can define an access code and attribute. The values are optional, required, prohibited, and default and fixed can be applied on attributes. So default you can apply or fixed also can apply. Next, default and fixed both must not present in attribute declaration. Either you can use default or you can use fixed. Now let's start with a quick demo. Now you can see this one, this is the uh, we have developed in previous uh, video. So for this, let's try to add an attribute. Now if you can see here product type. So product type is an attribute, okay? So product type is a complex element. For this, I wanted to add an attribute. So attribute cannot contain a sequence. So that's why I am not writing inside a sequence and attribute contains only two complex element. So in this complex element, I am going to define one access colon. You can see access colon attribute can be seen. So the syntax is name equal to. So you can provide the same product UPI and the type so you can see the type access colon string and you can define whether it is a default value you need so default value if you want you can give default value as r at the red ybl.com and you can see fixed you cannot see if i write fixed for example ram at the red ybl.com so you need like this okay and i am just closing here now if i perform this fine and you can see in element information access code attribute default and fixed attributes must not both are present that means you cannot give default and fixed both so you can use only one value and the next thing is you can use use attribute so use you can see so i am going to keep as optional so even if you don't keep this uh, explicitly by default it is optional only now if i validate now you can see the xst is valid now this is valid now create an xml file based on this So this is an XML file that I'm going to create. And so while creating, you can see it is asking for schema. Now I am going to browse 
and I am going to use car three attributes schema and click OK. Now this is the default one. Now you can see attribute is not there here. So for product, so if you see here, we have developed it for product type. We have added that means product type is a product element, complex element. So for the product, if I just put like you can see product UPI is already visible. Now you, if you want like R at the red ybl.com is an optional element that is a that is a default element. Now I wanted to use from at the red ybl.com. Ram one at the red ybl.com. Okay. Now you can validate. Now we can see value is not allowed for product quantity. So that means this is like default remaining values we didn't specify. So that's the reason. No, so like you wanted to, you can specify like this here and product code. I just wanted to use one. Now you can validate once again. Now oh, line also you need to specify because these are the attributes. So address. Okay. So let me just uh, validate. So now we can see because line, uh, if you see in line, we define, we didn't define min of curse anything. So that's why min of curse is one, max of curse is one. Now you can see this is valid. So in this way, you need to define an attribute. So you can see this attribute is having only simple data. Now, if I want to store like this, for example, I have a data like this huge amount of data that I want to store in attribute. If you have, if you create XML like this, then the end user who reads this XML file, it will be very readability is not there. So that's why if you want to store huge amount of data, then instead of declaring as product UPA, you declare it as uh, element. So instead of element and directly store in the element. And also you have, we have only product UPA one attribute. Now, if I want one more attribute, then I can simply copy paste this and let me use product QR. And product QR. And let me validate this. Now you can see this is valid. Now here you can use product. Let me remove this. Now let me validate this. Now you can see this is valid because product QR is an again one or at. Now if I write this product QR in the beginning and product UPI after that, then also it is valid only. Okay. Then also it is well formed and it is valid. But the that is the main disadvantage. You can you cannot define the sequence of attributes because sequence is sequence won't apply. If you try to apply the sequence here for excess colon sequence. So you cannot see sequence also is not there. Okay. So that's a disadvantage with attributes. So that's why based on all these constraints, keep in mind and then try to work on attributes. So you can give your feedback at Infa support channel or else support video set informatical.com. Thank you for watching this video.